Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Method performance parameters, as in Yorakim guidelines, second edition 2014. Number one, confirmation of identity. How to be sure that the result you get related to your target analyte, not for any other interfering analytes. Confirmation of identity to be sure that the result is related to your target analytes, not any other interfering elements. And that depends on effectiveness of isolation stage, which is extraction steps, and selectivity or specificity of measurement stage. Selectivity or specificity, which is the ability of the method to select accurately and specifically your target analytes in the presence of other interfering elements. Because in your matrix you have your target analytes and different interfering elements and your method should be selective enough to select these target analytes, not other interfering elements. So that should be studied for lab developed methods or in-house methods, modified standard methods, or standard methods used outside their intended school, even for qualitative or quantitative methods. How can you study selectivity? It's very easy. You can make replicate analysis 10 times of test sample, your test sample spiked with known concentration of your target analytes. Also, you can use reference material with known concentration of target analytes, and then you can compare the result you get in reference material and spiked sample. If you get, as an example, a reference material your peak at retention time 7, and in spiked sample you get many matrix, many interferences like this, and here your, spike, your, your target analyte in 7, so this is your target analyte. And then you can make confirmation, and this is very important. If you have another validated method used to analyze the same target analytes, use this method as a confirmatory technique and analyze same replicate using this method and compare the result from these two methods to see if your method is selective for target analytes or not. Another way to ensure the selectivity of your method to spike your test sample with your target analyte and also other analytes that you think it may affect on the target analyte. But your method should be able to select target analytes even in the presence of these interfering elements that you already spied in the test sample. And that also should be replicate analysis. And don't forget that you, if you are looking using HPLC or LCMS, you have to select at the beginning your retention time for your compound using reference standard of your target analyte. See you in the next lecture, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.